inner critic. She is an interesting, interesting character. So we've talked through through the cycle about this inner critic, this voice inside you that is often quite disparaging, asks you what the hell you think you're doing, who the hell you think you are, etc. We've talked about the fact that people pleasing can come from the inner critic because she very much wants you to be safe um, and she wants you to, to belong um, in places as well. So the inner critic, and there's quite a few people have written about it, not just the Red School who sort of coined the phrase the inner critic. They talk about her being almost a voice from childhood. So trauma that we've been through, little, small, constant, you know, short. That inner critic, she remembers all of that. And the reason she is so critical is she wants to keep you small. She wants to keep you quiet and she wants to keep you safe. So putting yourself out there. Most of the time we learn very quickly, particularly as women, is not a safe place. Whether it's because we're going to be criticised, whether we're going to be told off, whether we're going to be feared or, or judged. She remembers all of that and she wants to just, she doesn't want that to happen to you again. So she's got, her heart's in the right place. It's just the words she uses are not very, not very nice usually. But if we have done the work through the cycle, so starting in menstruation where we've been quite reflective and we've listened to perhaps a few of the things that came out in the critic, into the spring we've maybe actioned some of the change that we wanted to make. We've decided what was what was valid and what wasn't valid. And then through the summer, if we've taken care of ourselves and we've not overspent that energy that we've we've got so we talked last week about being you know on the always having one in the bank whether it's one more mile one more weight lift or you know one more social interaction um, always having something left for you if we can do that work through this part into this part then that inner critic she's going to be much much quieter She's going to feel happy that you've looked after yourself. She's going to be happy that you've made changes that, you know, she brought up last cycle. So she's going to be a lot quieter. So it's it's really where the magic of cycle awareness can start to make a huge difference because you'll find that this part of the cycle becomes less, less, less upsetting and you have less of that self-doubt and that self-talk. And, you know, like I said, talking horribly to yourself that can become much 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 quieter and much much easier it's still going to happen though because she's still there and she's still part of you so I wanted to try an exercise now obviously not everybody watching this is going to be in that inner critic um, part so I want us just to use our imagination a little bit so I want you to close your eyes and be super, super comfortable. So feel free to just wrap yourself up. And once you've closed the eyes or lower them, if you don't feel safe having closed eyes, just, you know, soften the gaze. And just start to feel the breath in the body, gently coming in and gently coming out. There's no control. There's no judgment. And I want you to just imagine that you are, you are in your autumn of your cycle. If you are, you might find it a little easier. If you're not, just visualising the last point that you were in the autumn. Your energy is feeling a little lower, you're feeling a little quieter. And then I want you to just listen for the voice of that inner critic. And as you start to feel vulnerable, as you start to slow down, just want you to hear one of the things that she is saying. What does she say? What one phrase or words is she using? 
I want you to feel her presence and notice what she's saying. And I want you to listen very carefully. And once you've heard what she has said, I want you to ask for clarification. Get the detail. What is she actually saying? What is it that you're doing or failing to do that is making this critic say these words? Ask her to be specific. And once you feel like you've got clarification on some of the points, I want you to ask yourself, do you agree with any of them? And it's without judgment, it's without anger or rage or resentment. And find the points that you don't agree on. And I want you to just acknowledge her input. Say thank you, but I don't agree. And then just bring into mind if there are any of the points that you did agree with. Is there something of value that this critic is saying to you? Is there something that you haven't done, you wish to do? Is there a promise you made yourself? And I want you to give that inner critic a really big smile. I want you once again to thank her for her input. And then I want you to tell her that you're not superwoman, but you're trying your best. And then I want you to let that inner critic go. Let her wander off, probably stubbornly. You might just give her a little wink or a little laugh and just let her go. And then I want you to just be very clear about the truth that you brought out of that criticism. You don't have to make any goals right now. You don't have to make any choices. But if there is some truth, if there is something that you did or didn't do that you would like to change in the next cycle, just keep it in mind without judgment, without anger. And just take a few lovely long breaths and send yourself a little bit of love, a little bit of understanding. And then I want you to bring in a little bit of gratitude, gratitude for the critic for bringing anything up that you need to hear. Gratitude to yourself for all the amazing things that you're able to do. And grateful for this time to give to yourself.
take a lovely big deep breath in let it all out blink <sighs> open the eyes when you're ready come back into the room